Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com, and gingerbread is the big news. The question really is, who's going to make it to market first? Independent developers or hardware manufacturers? Well, when you've got a device all to yourself and can cook your own ROM like Samsung did with the Nexus S, the Nexus S wins. But for everybody else, it looks like it's going to be the community developers. And thanks to one of our PocketNow readers, we can show you an early look of CyanogenMod 7 for the G2 running gingerbread. Let's go take a look. All right, so here we go, guys. It's Android version 2.3.1, which is Cyanogen Mod 7.0.0 RC0. Now, what's RC? RC is a release candidate, and zero means it's not even really officially been released. Um, once you get to RC1, that's the first, hey, I think this is ready for prime time, so I'm going to go ahead and release this candidate. That's, that's kind of the development process. This isn't quite there. And why isn't it there? Well, let's go ahead and take a look back here. This is the phone settings, and you'll notice that there are no cyanogen mod settings, which would be right up here. They're not, they're not cooked yet. They're not done. They're not ready for this build. They're not included in it. And those usually come after all of the other stuff is complete. Now, what do I mean by other stuff? Well, take a look up here. First of all, you see my uh, new gingerbread style notification bar. I've got Bluetooth turned on. I've got Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi has good signal. My battery is all nice and charged up. And I've got my clock up there. And it's that nice dark black bar that we're uh, coming to become familiar with with gingerbread. But uh, other stuff doesn't work, other hardware. Wi-Fi doesn't work exactly right. Now, over here I've got the latest version of Google Maps. GPS seems to be working. It's a little bit laggy and kind of interesting at times. But one of the things that the location services on Android does is it uses cell towers, it uses Wi-Fi access points, and GPS all together to help pinpoint your location and uh, to help narrow that down quicker so you don't really notice that you know it, it took 60 seconds, 90 seconds to get a GPS fix because well it got a cell tower fix almost immediately, it got a Wi-Fi fix within the next 5-10 seconds and then you know you're well on your way to knowing exactly where you are when the GPS catches up because those satellites take a while to, uh, to come to view and whatnot. This isn't a, a video about GPS and how it works though um, but the GPS wonkiness is when I'm not under an active umbrella like I am right now, it'll just turn off. That sounds kind of like it might be a feature because you don't really need Wi-Fi when you're not under a Wi-Fi umbrella. It just chews up battery. But when you do that, you also lose out on your ability to get a quick location with your GPS-sensitive apps like Google Maps. So let's go ahead and move along. One other thing that's not working, and uh, I don't know if this is going to throw an error like it has been or not, is the camera app. Now, this goes for both the still camera and the video camera. Of course, the, uh, the G2 doesn't have a front-facing camera, just the rear one. But normally, it would throw an error message here saying it can't even connect to the camera, and then you're just left with a button to say OK. In this case, we'll just have to hit home and go back home again. So the camera isn't quite done. You also notice how long it took to do a, uh, an orientation change. That is also because things aren't quite optimized for the hardware yet. That's still coming along, and it's to be expected. Something else. Now, this is more gingerbread than it is cyanogen mod, but I thought I'd show you. I've gone ahead and added a contact to my desktop. It's this guy named Brandon Miniman. He runs a website that's kind of really cool. I like it a lot. It's called pocketnow.com. If you haven't been there, I'd recommend doing that. In fact, I'd also recommend you uh, subscribe to their video channel if you haven't done so already. But anyway, looking down at this, you've got this little uh, ellipses dots down at the bottom of his contact icon. Now, before that used to be a colored bar. It used to be a green bar that went, or a gray bar in some uh, some ROMs, that went all the way across the bottom. It just kind of looked like a drawer handle that you could grab onto and pull. Well, now it's ellipses points. It's just a little bit of a change in the metaphor. So when you tap on that, it brings up what I call a quick action bubble, because I don't know the real name of it. If you know the name of this, please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, you'll notice, I believe it's new to gingerbread, it's got this nice dark drop shadow around it. Now, that's because gingerbread has some higher resolution, so you don't see banding and whatnot in here. You're seeing deeper color depths and whatnot. Uh, really taking advantage of the GPUs that are coming in most of today's modern Android phones. But you can see in here various different ways that I can contact Brandon, either by phone or look up his contact, text, Gmail, Twitter, or even view his website. It also aggregates in his latest 
comment on a social network, in this case 14 hours ago, by Twitter. And that's probably because I haven't synced up with Twitter. He's probably said quite a bit because he talks an awful lot about tech. So again, plug in there for, uh, for following Pocket Now tweets on Twitter and Pocket Now video on, uh, on YouTube. So, lots of cool stuff. Uh, if you're curious about this uh, live wallpaper, this is the uh, Snow Globe the Coca-Cola live wallpaper that we showed you over at pocketnow.com a few days ago. Uh, one thing that I would like to note, this is not the launcher that comes with Gingerbread. This is ADW Launcher, which is a phenomenal launcher. You can get that in the marketplace. We've talked about it in the past. It's faster and more feature-filled than the stock launcher, and it generally comes with CyanogenMod. So when's this going to be ready for your device? Well, to put it simply, it'll be ready when it's ready and not before. Cyanogen does not release builds that don't have all of the hardware functioning. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll let you know when Cyanogen Mod comes out for your device over at PocketNow.com. For PocketNow, I'm Joe Levi.